In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to replace the carburetor on your lawnmower. This is a Troy built Bronco and we will be replacing the carburetor on it. I ordered one off of Amazon. Link will be in the description box below. But the first thing that you have to do is remove this cover, which is pretty simple. There's two bolts on each end. I have already removed them, but they go right here. So you remove those two bolts and the cover will be removed. Once you remove the cover, you will have all the access that you will need in order to replace the carburetor. As you can see, here's the size of the motor and the type of motor that is on this lawnmower. The carburetor is located right behind the air filter. As you can see, it is pretty dirty. I've been having issues with this lawnmower, so I will be replacing the carburetor and the gas filter. So the first thing that you have to do, obviously remove the cover and then remove this filter cover. It is super easy. All you have to do is unwind all of these. Once you have unwind them all, you're simply going to take this cover off. Make sure you put everything in order. That way you don't lose any parts and you will know exactly where things go back once you are done replacing the carburetor. And then the filter simply comes off just like this. Bam, we're gonna add that over there as well. Once the air filter is moved, you're going to use a number 10 socket to remove both of these bolts. All right, let me grab this real quick. There you go, and the other one comes right off. Once you have removed those, this little piece you're just gonna have to wiggle it off. Also, if you need more space over here and you wanna remove this whole piece, there is an eight millimeter bolt right here. So you can simply remove it in order to take this cover completely off. That way you can have more space. It all depends. If you have small hands, you'll be able to do it with no problem. If not, then you have to remove this cover. And boom, once this is removed, you'll be able to take this cover completely off. But make sure you keep everything organized. All right, now this will give you full access to the carburetor. You will need to take this bolt off. That's the gas filter. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect this. All right, we're gonna set it aside. Once you have disconnected these wires, there will be a zip tie around the carburetor on the bottom holding it to the very back. So make sure you cut this zip tie that way you can completely remove the carburetor. Uh, as you can see right now, it is completely loose. But we will need to disconnect these two right here. That way we can twist it and take it out because it is hitting on the bottom frame. All right, so I disconnected this one and that one. The, the one in the back has another one as well that goes to this little small piece. So make sure you disconnect them both. And then you're simply going to put them like put them away somewhere. And once these two metal wires are removed, you're gonna remove the clamp that is holding the gas line. Make sure to have a, a bucket or a container where you can literally put it in so you don't lose a bunch of your gas. And now, simply gonna take a pair of pliers, put it right here, wiggle it. This is a pain in the you know what. So you're gonna push it back just like this. Now I have removed the gas hose and I simply put it above the gas tank so it doesn't leak out. I was gonna put it in the bucket, but if it fills up, then it will start leaking. So I just put it right there, way easier. All right, now here's your carburetor. Everything is loose and ready to come off. But as you can see, it keeps hitting this metal pipe and I do not want to bend anything. So I will be removing this metal framing thing just so I can easily slide off the carburetor. It's just an extra six bolts. You will need a uh, number 10 for the front two, for these two, and then you're going to use, let me see, what's this one? A one and a half on uh, the bottom three. And then this should easily slide off. All right, so I have removed the two and the three bolts that go right here and right here. And now this is simply loose and check this out, boom. You have finally taken off your carburetor. Look how old and dirty this one is. 
This probably has never been replaced on this lawnmower. I'm gonna put that to the side. And here's our brand new carburetor. This kit on Amazon, you pretty much get everything that you will need for your lawnmower. Check it out. Brand new carburetor. Brand new gaskets as well. Also, gas filter, very important. And then you're gonna get a spark plug as well. And the rest of the wires, if you end up breaking your wires on the old one. Also some clips for the gas line. This, in my opinion, is the best kit out there simply because it gives you everything you need. And you also get a zip tie for the bottom of the carburetor. Amazing, all right. But before we put in the new carburetor, take a little rag or a towel and clean the area around it. This way, once you put in the gasket, it will fit perfectly. So once everything is clean and ready to go, you're gonna take your carburetor and your head gaskets. Check them out. And you're simply going to align everything before we slide it on. Also, what I like to do personally is see these two metal wires that go on top. I like to put those in before I slide on the carburetor. This will make it a lot easier. You don't wanna put your carburetor in and then have to bend these wires for no reason. All right, all right, check it out. I have reconnected the two wires and now we're simply going to slide on the gasket before we slide on the carburetor. We should have a perfect fit. And then we're simply going to put on this gasket as well. And boom, it is almost done. The hardest part is over. Now it's pretty much reassembling everything else. All right, so now both of the wires are connected and everything is working smooth. This closes just fine. That one is working good as well. All right, we're gonna put on the final front gasket, just like this, and boom. All right, so the next step is to pretty much reconnect this to the bottom of the black box. Also guys, if you end up damaging it or you simply wanna replace it, a new one will come with the kit. So this is pretty much right here that grounds it and then these two reconnect. But mine is in perfect condition, so I will not be changing. I will just reconnect it to the carburetor. Also, the kit does come with a brand new gas filter and I will be replacing my old one. Check it out. The best way to do this is very simple. Do everything before you reconnect it to the carburetor. So all you have to do is take a pair of pliers push this clamp up, push this clamp down, and unplug the gas filter, and then simply push it back into the hoses and then reclamp it. So it should look something like this. Both of the clamps are all the way off, and then we're simply going to pull and wiggle, and boom. This one is off, we're gonna put that aside, and now we're gonna do this other one. Oh, this one's a little bit tougher, but it is coming out. There you go, guys, the old gas filter. Here's the new one. You want to keep it very, very clean. I'm not doing a very good job of that, but there you go. We're going to pop it on right here, and then we're going to take the other hose, and we're going to put it on as well, just like this. Also, take the pliers again. As you can see, the gas is already filling up. Then we're gonna pretty much do it like that, and bam. Then we're gonna take this other clamp as well. Pretty much we're gonna put it in the same spots that it was in before, which should be outlined, uh, and boom. Now everything is positioned, and now we are ready to reconnect the hose to the carburetor, which we're about to do right now. Remember, keep it up so you don't lose gas. This process is very simple as well. Check it out, it just goes there. We're just gonna push it on, just like that. All right, a little bit more, and boom, it is on. Now we're gonna take the pliers, and we're gonna take this clamp, and we're gonna clamp the gas line. All right, so we have put the gas line back in. As you can see, put the clamp. Also guys, remember, when you are putting these clamps, remember to put them facing you. 
just like this one right here. That way in the future, you don't have to go all around and it just creates a hassle. All right, so wires are connected. Gas line is back on. The bottom power is connected. Now we're gonna use this zip tie to pretty much zip tie this to the carburetor. You don't want it touching this part right here because this part gets hot and it could melt your wire. So you wanna zip tie it away from this part. All right, the zip tie is in. And as you can see, no wires are touching the front part. Now we're simply gonna take these five bolts and we're gonna bolt this frame part back in. So we're gonna use the number 10 again. And boom, I have already put those three in. These two are in. And now for the final part, putting everything back together. Now we will put this cover back on. There are two holes right here, which you will have to align with the carburetor and the one on top will go in between there so you can add the screw back on to hold it. And remember to bring this wire forward. First thing I like to do is align the slots on the carburetor because that tends to be the hardest part. And now this part right here should simply slide in just like that. All right. There we go. Now we're gonna take the bolts and we're gonna just slide them onto the carburetor just like this. I'm not going to tighten them all the way simply because I wanna put in the top bolt first. And remember, this part can be a little bit tricky because there's very little room. All right, that should be good. And now this bolt, I'm gonna slide it in right there on top and boom. All right, once all three bolts are in, you're gonna use a 10 millimeter to tighten these two and an eight millimeter to tighten the top. So once everything is tightened and ready to go, you're gonna put back your air filter. And it simply goes on just like that. There's no bolts, there's nothing to attach it to. It just like fits in snugly. And now for the final part, we're gonna add our air filter cover. Once the air filter cover is on, you simply wanna screw these bolts on and tighten it all the way like it was before. And then you wanna check to see if it's loose, if it is tighten it even more. If not, you're ready to go. And that is how simple and easy it is to replace a carburetor on a Troy built lawnmower. The final thing that is left to do is to replace the spark plug. A lot of people don't replace it, but you get it for free with your kit. So there's no point in not replacing it. There you go. Brand new carburetor peak now. The spark plug is right here. So you are going to need a pair of long nose pliers to unplug the spark plug. And then you're gonna need a spark plug remover. Unfortunately, I cannot find mine right now. So I will probably make another quick video for this. But I will go to the store, buy the spark plug remover, and I will let you guys know. But that's how you replace the carburetor and your lawnmower should be ready to go. All you have to do now is put the cover back on and you're ready to go.